In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add cursor in iPad. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you would like to use a cursor on your iPad to navigate around the screen, tap on different items on the menu and so on, you will be able to use it natively. So this feature is actually built into the modern iPad OS, so you will be able to use it without any issues. The main way to do this is going to be by connecting an external mouse, and it's the one that I'm going to showcase in this video. You can also use a trackpad if you have the necessary extension, and even keyboards and other accessories. But for this video, I'm going to be focusing specifically on a mouse. So all that you have to do is go over to the settings and choose the Bluetooth category. Now, you might be able to connect a mouse using a cable, but most modern mice will be connected over Bluetooth. And once again, it is the option I'm going to be focusing in this video. If you have one that is connected over a cable, just plug it in to the port on your iPad. But for Bluetooth, you will usually press a specific button on the mouse to make sure it goes into pairing mode. And when you enable Bluetooth, it is going to appear under the list of available devices as long as it was set to pairing mode by pressing a specific button. Once you select the mouse, you will be good to go. You will see a cursor like this one. Instead of the usual cursor like you see on Windows or on a standard PC, it is simply going to be a grayish ball like this and you will be able to control it using the mouse so you can drag it around highlight items around the menu and so on you can customize the, this cursor if you don't like the look of it just go over to accessibility and then pointer control and in here you can change the appearance even the color the size animations and so on so all that you have to do is plug in an external mouse to your ipad and it is going to automatically add a cursor that functions as a pointer I hope I was able to help you on how to add cursor and iPad. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.